Hey, hey, everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookUMA.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And um, we are making projects 9 through 17 of our uh, tags, file folders, and pockets videos. Um, we started that um, in yesterday's video. We did 1 through 8, and I will link that in the description box below. I'm also using a kit from Kara Brandon Creations on Etsy, and she also has a wonderful YouTube channel, so you need to subscribe to that, and you need to go get her um, tag kit, and somebody's coming in the door, and Lila has decided to interrupt my video, of course, um, but you need to go over and subscribe to her on YouTube, I will link that, and um, go over and check out her Etsy shop, because she has some gorgeous digitals over there even if you're not into the march theme that these are she's got all kinds of kits over there tag kits and journal kits so y'all check her out now i have did a little bit more prep today on this video than i did yesterday so um maybe we can move through this a little bit quicker but um i did already put you know a few um backers on this one i did not but this one I believe I did <laughs> that one I didn't either okay so maybe there's not that much more there we go <laughs> there's more prep and here is more prep and <laughs> here's more prep I'll get through it we'll get through it together okay um this is the 9 through 17 I got one right over here and then this last one here and then this is the freebie Friday she had last week. And I went ahead and cut out all of those. And we might do a little bit of something with those. And then there were also two extra pages in this tag kit. So this was all 17, 1 through 8 yesterday, and then 9 through 17 here. And then these are extra. And look at all the little words she's got and then all the little tags like these and I would like to use these as tucks in a journal so I'm thinking that's my way of thinking for that page that I cut out and then this one I guess could be little pockets on top of your tags like look at that that would work so well as a pocket but you could also just use them as um, little journaling cards and little tucks on the sides of your pages and then they came with these cute 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 um, typewriter fonts love those so those were the extras I just wanted to show you everything that came in the tag kit and let's get to work let's just go ahead and go for that one I'm going to move some of this other stuff around and I thank Miss Kara for sending me this kit. Um, it did take me a while to cut out, but you know, I've got 411, as we like to say here in the South, things to do and needs to be done and things that I put my own pressure, <laughs> pressure on my own self for. So that's why it took me a little bit longer to do this than maybe somebody else. But um, I really have enjoyed this. She makes some of the cutest little designs. I am inking around this card that's going to go inside this pocket. And it already has, I put some old book page on the back of it. I'm just inking with walnut stain. Okay, and then that's going to be my top because there's the wording like that. Um, this, what I'm thinking I want to do, because I don't really want to, I don't want to mount this here, and then, you know, her showing through there, but I would like to clip this onto this one, and maybe let's see if it'll all fit down in there. I've got one of those little bitty, tiny, tiny Tim Holtz clips, and we shall see if that works. But I'm not really wanting to do anything else to this one except for just clip it on here. So let's pick this up, clip that on, 
And of course I could put some um, decoration on that one if I wanted to or just leave it as is for journaling space. But what I am thinking about is going ahead and cutting out the center so it can be seen through there, but um, not actually gluing that onto that. So that was my way of thinking on this one. I'm going to glue the gussets together. So gusset on the side, and then put that on, and then bottom gusset, or bottom flap, there. Okay, and then see what this looks like when we smush it down in there. Okay, good, good, good. Hardly any resistance, so we're good with that. And look, she shows through the window as is. I like that. And let's figure out where we want to put the little accents that come with this page. I think maybe I'll just put this on the back of the main card up here since you know, we really don't want to be reading whatever that is anyway. It's just partial book page. Okay, I think I will ink a little more right there. And then see here, I kind of like the idea of having this like that. And let's go ahead and put that back in just to make sure, you know, we're not like going to put that where, where her nose would be or something. <laughs> let's make it pleasing. Okay, so since she's got the green here. I think I will go on this side and then add beauty beside it. So let's do just some glue on this side so it doesn't go inside the pocket and then some glue just on the bottom of this piece and layer that up the way I want it. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, I do believe I want to put something there though. And let's do maybe a piece of seam binding. This is Mushroom from my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. She has the most wonderful scrunchy seam binding. And I'm not going to do a bow, I'm just going to do a double knot, so I think that'll be sufficient there. And get this nice scrunchy seam binding as flat as I can on the back side. Bring it around and then tie it double knot. Okay, yep, that's cute. And then we could also use this seam binding as the closure for this. So, I mean, we could um, tuck it down in there if we wanted to, but if I wanted to, I could just do that. And then my seam binding keeps that closed. Yay, I like that. So there's the first one that I've done today. So number nine. Okay, number 10. So next is this one. And I left this together because I'm going to make a little folder out of it. And I'm going to put this on the inside as a tuck. And this is one of the tags that came with it on that same sheet. I've got some dyed cheesecloth here and I mean I say I'm going to do that 
I went ahead and back that and I would hate to put it on there and <laughs> not use it as a tag to take out. Okay, so I went with that on the outside and then I'm going to fold it on the line. And I love this little piece of sheer lace that I've got and just for no reason whatsoever I want to put it on this tag and this tag is going to be uh, removable but yeah I want to um, add it to this tag so let me find my tiny attacher and we shall do that I'm just going to staple it in two spots toward the edge of the tag there and there so it's on there, but it can be flipped back, and there can be journaling done on the tag, and then kind of hidden, and then there can be journaling done on the back. I like that. Um, this is a piece from the free um, Freebie Friday that she put up. I have not covered this intentionally, just because there's a lot of white on the inside and on the front of this, so I'm just going to leave it white. Did not cover it and I'm glad that I didn't go ahead and do prep work last night after I finished the other one because I was I had all intentions of covering all of the white space with um, tea stain paper or coffee dyed paper or whatever. I'm going to go around this and ink the edges and then on this other side I'm going to back this with some cardstock because I've got it just printed on copy paper. I'm going to back it with some cardstock and I'm going to mount it here just on the edge and that's going to be the tuck for my little tag here. I like that idea. Okay, I'm putting that in the corner and we're going to let it dry for a little bit before we actually put the whole thing down but just to show you that's about how it's going to be. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more glue here and then a tad bit more here so we have a little bit better of an attachment there. I like that and we've got plenty of stuff to decorate some more if we wanted to like if I were to want to put say that with the little cluster in the middle of it that's cute let's go ahead and put that on there it's like a clover but it's like four hearts too that is cute and then this is like a little jewel bobble very cute. I put the bigger one that's like this on the front. I'll put that in the center of that one and we will come back to this whenever that tuck is dry. So there's um, 9, 10 and now 11. Now I would say that this is the brightest one out of the bunch. <laughs> oh man. Kara was making sure that I didn't get uh, scared a little bit from the bright colors. I told her, I said, I used to work with bright colors all the time. Um, that does not bother me. But um, I don't know, the older I get, the more pale my palette gets. The paler my skin gets, too. So I guess it's just all in all. <laughs> Now I've already backed the two smaller tags in this sheet with some tea stain paper. Um, but yeah, since I do a lot of vintage crafts, I don't deal with a lot of bright colors, but you know, to each their own and you can decorate and use whatever colors you would like when you're making a junk journal. It's yours. Make it how you want it. So this is going to be like our backer board. And this one, I mean, even with the fun colors, it's, um, I think, the more of the funner, 
items in the whole um, tag kit because you've got two pockets that come with it. And, you know, you're looking at it you're going, at first you're looking at it like, okay, Kara, what's your idea behind this one? Because there's two pockets. you got three tag forms and two pockets. So, I am... I have determined in my mind that what I'm about to do is what she envisioned. So I hope, I hope this all works out for the good. It is a stacked pocket tag. Okay, so we've got the orange pocket and then we've got this bright green pocket. And we're folding over the gussets and we're going to layer them on top of this rainbow base tag and then it's going to be those two pockets are going to be the home to these tags so i hope that's what you were going for kara because that's where i'm going with this one okay i'm going to put these together and i'm going to notch out just the smallest of little thumb notches in these. Just tiny. Okay. And then ink the tops. And then I'll come back and ink sides if I need to. And then I'm going to determine where I want these to lay on top of one another. This gusset needs to be folded over a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the green pockets gussets and not inside the pocket. Molina. And then let's go about here. Calling myself that, I remember a friend of mine, Daddy, who has since passed, and sadly my friend has passed too, his daughter, um, but Mr. Steve used to call me Mean Lena. <laughs> uh, we would go to their house after school stuff, and he'd be working out in a shop or whatever, and I'd walk up and he'd go, oh, look at there, it's mean Lena. <laughs> and he'd just laugh. He thought he was so funny. Oh, high school, y'all. I miss those days. Now, I don't miss the drama, but I do. I do miss those days. Okay, now see, we've got a stacked pocket now. So we've got a pocket there and we've got a pocket there. And we can move it around, move our tags around however we want to. But I would say that the bigger one needs to go in the back pocket. And then smaller one here. And since it's up against a green pocket, I would say it needs some, um, you know, distinction. We need to do something to distinguish it, to break up that look. So I'm thinking... That tab on that one, and then this tab on that one. Let's look. Maybe that's too matchy matchy. Yeah, well, but no, it has to be like that because if I were to put this tab on that, then it would blend in with that background. We'll put um, one of these words on there, and then we'll dress up the bottom pocket too. We could dress up the top pocket if we wanted to. It's not going to be seen that much. I'm going to ink around the tabs on both sides. And I think I'm going to put this tab on this side and that one on that side. For whatever reason why I'm changing it, I don't really know, but I'm just doing it. My YouTube video will do what I want to. <laughs> Okay, so I want to bring it up high enough so when I put it in the pocket that it's still seen. Um, I might get me a little piece of fabric or something for the tops of these to dress them up a little bit. 
ink around this tab and then put glue. All right, I'm going to put a little piece of this moss seam binding that I got from the scrap cabin, my scrap cabin. Just a tiny piece is going to go on top of that, just as a little pull tab. And then for this one, I think I'll just go with a piece of this sorry silk. Just a little piece. And we are going to put it on like so. And then I'll just sew across it. I think I will. I think, I think we'll do that. Okay, nice messy little tabs for the tops of those tags. I like that. Um, let's go with maybe a word on at least this tab. We don't have to put a word maybe on the other one, but I do want to put something on this one. It's so plain. It needs something just up against that. It's plain. So let's go with that one. And I'm going to actually chomp off the ends a little bit, ink the ends, and then see if I can't get it to work a little bit better. Yep, that works. Put that on there. Okay. Um, I think I want to use a little button off of the other sheet. There's that on um, maybe the pocket, this bottom pocket, and the little heart from the other sheet. Ooh, I really like that. And maybe joyful from one of the other sheets. And I don't know that I'm going to use the coins. That's a little sad. They're cute, but I just don't think I'm going to use them on this one. I think this one's got enough color in it. Kara. <laughs> Let's go here. And here. And then put our little green button down. What would be very cute is if you wanted to actually take the time to do it is to poke those holes that's in that button and put a little piece of hemp twine in it but I'm not going to take the time to do that. And I'm not covering the back because this will be um, adhered down in whatever we use it in. Cute! I like that one. It is bright but I like it. I like it. Okay, this one should be dry by now, or dry enough to put that little tag down in there. Yep. Cute. So that holds it fine. It's not going anywhere. I like that. And you could always put something, um, seam binding or something like that around it to keep it closed. But it's like a little booklet. I like that one. Okay, and then this next one is a file folder folder type, file folder type. Uh, Southern is really coming out today. Okay, and now we're just kind of figuring out what we want to do. I've already backed these tags, so I do want them to be removable. And I think I'm going to put a book page on the inside of this. And then I'm going to do these two little do lollies like this as little tuck spots to hold those tags in place. Look at there. Yep, I'm going to use my first Edith Holden. I'm going to do it. I'm going to cover it and I'm just going to do it. I've been hoarding these and not doing anything with them. I'm doing something with it today. There you go. Plop. And you'll still be able to see it because these tags are removable that we're putting in there. Spread that around. 
I'm going to get my sticky scissors and cut off, cut it, cut off, cut off. <laughs> I'm going to cut off the excess, y'all. Okay, I think I'm going to use these two pieces from the Freebie Friday. Ink those and get those glued on and then put the two clovers that came in that sheet around on it too and maybe one of the words too like that and then I'm going to put this you are my pot of gold at the bottom like that so cute little file folder front get my messy rag and get up all this excess glue and then on the inside we are going to ink our tags and ink our little placeholders that's going to keep our tags in there. Little tucks. Okay, I'm just going to do the corner of these and put them as far down in the corner as I possibly can. And then this corner all the way down. Okay, and then this one will go there. Once it gets dry, it'll be enough of a spot for it to go down in there, just like that. And then this one will go there. Oh, I will love that. Um, we can use those little coins on these that we didn't use on the other one. Maybe even hang them off the edge a little bit. Like so. I like that. And let's ink those coins up. And just a little bit of sorry silk. And I'm just going to put a little piece at the top and staple it on. Like that. And then one over here. I love the little coins on these tags. Just like that. And they have their little spot to stay in and then those stick out of the top so there's that one so 9 10 11 12 okay now lucky number 13 and that is the one that has the really pretty postcard looking tags on it and lots of little ephemera and some tabs and what I want to do with this one I believe is the two larger tags I'm going to fit together back to back and we can you know decorate both sides but then the smaller tag is going to go in like a little sandwich so the two tags we're going to make a tuck spot pocket for this I need to back this one with some tea tea dyed paper and then we can put a tab on the outside of this one we can put a tab on the outside on this side and then decorate them up with all of our little stuff that come in this one look at that little girl how cute okay so I'm going to ink up and then I'm going to put some uh, coffee dyed or tea stain paper on the back of that one I'll be right back now I'm going to glue just the bottom and back side and then up there and just a little over that way not all the way across and then we're going to plop those together and then make sure they're even before letting them dry okay and then I'm going to ink little cute girl here and I'm going to put her on the tag that's going to go on the inside like that and maybe this from the freebie I'll put that at the bottom on the back of the tag like that and then this little piece I want on the front of this side tuck tag like that okay then moment of truth make sure that 
I can get this tag in there but I haven't um, glued entirely too much and not able to get it in there okay that is good that works well I like that like how that sits in there good 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 and then this piece we'll just put on the back and so this would be one that I put in a pocket in my journal so it would be a freestanding tag pocket that can come in and out of the journal I love that let's put this list maybe along the edge here and staple that onto there I like that idea let's kind of even it up on that tab and staple that on that's cute yep I like that all right 9 10 11 12 lucky 13 and then 14 now this is the one that my printer ran out of ink and so I don't have that pretty yellow all the way across it's faded out here this piece is faded out but I'm not too concerned about that yeah. um, but for this piece since it is faded pretty good I want to do some torn book page over here and then maybe a little something else on the bottom too I'm thinking that kind of decoration the way I've got it set it like that and let's see ink a little bit maybe put a little dually back behind her in the top middle I'm going to put her down I've already got glue on her put her down like that and then I'll add some more glue to the back of this dually just gentle gentle little lines of glue for a dually doesn't need much okay and then we're going to fold over on the fold marks our little pocket our coin pouch and glue this gusset over we got the nice little butterfly on the back okay and then glue this bottom flap and then maybe put a couple of these little fun words at the bottom here Irish fortune I think that's cute because it's a little coin pouch so let's put that on like so and then the little coin kind of slip it in back behind her dress right there so that kind of dresses up the front a little bit more and then you have the back with the butterfly on there and then your little card for journaling inside cute number 14 all right number 15 is this little beautiful pocket now this one for whatever reason my printer was out of the cardstock I guess and this one just got printed on copy paper so we shall see I'm going to try not to mess this one completely up but I am going to cut out the little window and then glue down the gusset and I want to put the little guy girl whomever human <laughs> there in the middle of that and it's going to go down in our pocket fold it over maybe a little too much we shall see if I need to trim that down any I have had to do that because you know I'm human and um, <laughs> sometimes I don't fold over or um, tuck where it's supposed to be okay 
glued that flap and then let's see if we need to no we're good we are good it goes down in there fine so I want to put it in there and I'm being easy I'm not going to put anything on the back of this one because this will be one since it is just copy paper this will be one that I will glue down on a page so it doesn't get too much wear and tear and then I'm going to pencil where I want this little darling showing oh that is just too cute right there so pencil line top of the hat and then pencil line on either side of the legs so that way I know where to put them where to put this little human I'm going to ink and then I'm going to find my pencil lines find my top pencil line and then my leg pencil line and you can't even really tell where that pencil the pencil marks are so I'm just going to leave it as is don't even have to um, cut off and I'm going to put this as far down as possible but I really love that I might do it over here so that doesn't get caught up in the pocket itself and this again is just on copy paper so it's very flimsy if I wanted to back it take the time to back it I could but I'm not okay and then this down here oh yeah good because that and then that part is the only part really sticking over the pocket there we go and do I want to put oh yeah I like that let's ink that up and then glue that down there kind of covers up the bow on the bottom but I'm okay I'm a-okay with that and then I think I will put this on the back glue it down really good so it doesn't get stuck while coming out okay and then oh I need a little bit more glue here and then wipe off my excess and then oh, <laughs> how cute is that y'all now that's just too cute okay and I think I am going to get this one is cardstock I think I will make me a little no no I won't because remember I said I was going to glue that down and so the flap when I glue it down in my journal whatever journal I put it in glue it down and then I won't glue at the top here so that I can get that flap pushed in and what I'll do is push the flap inside there okay then that way if I'm not gluing all the way at the top I can scrunch that down in there really easily I could also just glue on um, these two sides and then I could make a little tuck space there that's cute that is very cute that's cute on that page too that might be where that one lands very very cute love it love it love it all right that was 15 16 okay this one is neat um, it is three tags and I'm going to make it a trifold. So I'm going to cover the inside with some coffee dyed or tea stain paper. Um, this is going to be on the front with maybe a doily and some fabric back behind it. I might use some of the Freebie Friday stuff to cover the others. They've also got these cute little hinges. So I'm going to glue those on after I ink it. Glue the hinges on like this. Ain't this cute? 
this one starling. Okay, and then I'm going to um, stitch all around the edges, and y'all got to hang around and see that because y'all know how messy of a sewer I am. So let's start with that. Let's put our paper on the inside. And I'm going to go with this peachy food color dyed paper. I'm going to go with that side and just put glue all over this. And maybe not too heavy around the edges because I have an old sewing machine and an old needle. So I don't like to give it any heartache any more than I already give it. You know, when it sees me coming, it's already like, oh, great, here she comes. The woman that can't sew a straight stitch if she wanted to. All right, I'm going to cut off all the excess. And I'm going to do my folds um, just enough so that I can ink, up, ink them. I'll be able to talk in a minute, maybe. And then I'll ink around all the border. All right, so I put on my hinges, glued those on, and did some horrible stitching around the <laughs> border. Yay! <laughs> uh, now I will try fold it and try to get it so nothing is overlapping on the other. There we go. I like that. That's pretty. Look at that back. Yep. That's pretty. All right. And I'll put that there. A little doily piece just kind of peeking out back behind it. And then Ireland there. Yeah, I like that. So let's put all that on. That is cute. I like that. I like this one. I really, really dirtied it up in there. But still plenty of room for um, journaling. And let's see. We've got some stuff in that freebie that we want to put inside here. That's cute. Let's go ahead and put that on. I don't think I'm going to put anything on the back. And we can put these, um, the rest of these clover on the inside. And maybe do this little charming thing like that. Yep, I like that. A little ticket there in the middle. And maybe a little coin sticking out of it. I like that. Ink around the edges of that flimsy copy paper. Cuteness! I really love the back. How those um, edges look. Very cute. Favorite one of this little batch there, Kara. Okay. And then number 17, and that is this one. It's got the three different size tags with the beautiful butterflies and the two little girls and the beautiful floral pieces on them. And the way I'm going to do this one, I don't know what um, Kara's thinking was behind it, but this is what I've come up with, Kara, and everybody else. <laughs> I'm going to use this tag as the tuck on this tag. So make this bigger one the backer board. This is the tuck. And then this will be the tag that gets tucked in there. And we're going to decorate this tuck out some. And um, decorate that tag. And we will put some... Um, stain paper on the back of this also or what I might do is this is the tag off of the freebie Friday sheet 
And I think what I'll do is glue that to the back of this one and then just shape it up some. And then we'll have a double sided tag that goes in there. I like that. All right, I've got it all assembled, I think, pretty much. And I decided I'm going to use this other butterfly. It's kind of like the little tag topper on this one. So I'll just put glue on the bottom of the wings. And then I've got that one decorated it like that. And then this one will get tucked in like that. How cute is that? Too cute. Too, too, too cute. Let's see if we've got another little number. No, let's do, let's do this. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. Let's put that little word phrase in there. Just needed a little something extra. Yep. That is cute. I love that one. I love them all. I do, I do. And then that freebie Friday one is on the back side of it. Too cute. Still got a little bit of wet glue, but we're good. And then we have all of these extras. These are from the freebie sheet. And then I've got all of these little extras from the other sheets for the, from the tag kit itself. And then I have, like I showed you at the very beginning, those extra little tags and journal cards or pockets that you could put on the tags there. And then 9 through 17. And of course, this is not um, Kara's order. <laughs> she, she has them in the correct order. I just worked on them as I got them cut out. And these just happen to be some of the last ones I got cut out. But they are just as adorable as 1 through 8. And I hope that y'all have enjoyed these two videos. If you didn't watch projects one through eight, like I said, I'll have that um, in the description box below the link for you. And y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, Kara, for letting me um, get my hands on this tag kit and make all 17 tags for your March kind of St. Patrick's Day 17 tag kit that you have in your Etsy shop. Y'all make sure to go over and shop her Etsy and um, subscribe to her YouTube channel. God bless y'all. Bye.